Peter Rulon and welcome to my channel. I am a photographer and recently have gone over to providing video services. And as many of you are aware, that has upped my need for storage. So I installed a NAS drive and have recently upgraded the hard drives in the NAS to larger capacity so I had more storage capability. So I pulled this drive, which is perfectly functional, just smaller than my need, out of the NAS drive. And when I, I don't want to throw it out, so I want to be able to use this drive in a Windows system. In that process, so I had a way to plug it into my PC, I bought one of these external boxes that you plug your drive into and you then connect it into your PC. Well, when I did that, I plugged this, plugged, powered it on, put it into my PC, I heard the beep. But when I opened File Explorer, I saw no sign that this drive existed. Well, that's because these drives are formatted in a format that does not appear to be recognized by Windows. So I said, well, let's go into disk management. I pulled that up. I looked for this drive. I, found, I did not find this drive. Now, a while ago, I had a, a PC die on me, and as a good practice, you remove the internal hard drive from the PC before you scrap it, so obviously no one has access to your information. So I took this drive, and I placed it in the source slot of my device. I then placed my previously NAS in what is called slot A or destination A. I moved the switch on the back, there's a little switch here, from PC to clone. So once I did that, then I disconnected it from my PC because you don't need that. And I powered it up, and using this button here, um, they say you press it twice. Works most of the time, but some of the times you have to do it again, but you press it twice quickly. And wait a um, couple seconds, maybe five or ten, and this little white light will start flashing. Now, you walk away, do whatever you want to do for, in this case, it took me about two hours. And as you, I kept checking on it, this light, then the next, then the next, and finally, all five of these lights were on. And that indicates that the cloning is done. So I powered the unit off, I pulled out my source drive and I placed my former NAS drive in the slot one, took my connection cable, ran it to the PC, fired it up, and I opened up File Explorer and guess what? This drive is there. Now I right clicked on it and I noticed that it had it thought it had only one terabyte worth of storage on a four terabyte drive. That is because my source drive is a one terabyte drive. So it wrote in the um, cloning process that this was a one terabyte drive. Now, I'm in this description, I'm going to instead of saying NAS drive, and I'm just going to refer this to E. Now, I understand that in my system it assigned the drive letter E. 
In your system, it may assign a different drive letter, but for simplicity in this video, I am going to just refer this as E. So now I've got to get, so I've got four terabytes of drive space. So I went to a free program called AOEMI Partition Assistance Software. There'll be a link below on how to download that software. You install the software and you run the software. Well, on the main screen, you are going to see a listing for, in my case, an E drive. I'm going to highlight that E drive and I'm going to right click and in the menu that pops up, you're going to see merge partitions option. Well, it'll have two partitions listed, one which is the E drive and one is the unallocated partition. Sure, both are clicked, both the unallocation, unallocated partition and the E drive are clicked. Hit OK. Now, up in the upper left hand corner of the software is a button that says apply. And you click on that, proceed yes, and when done, it'll tell you when it's done, you close the software. So now I go back and I go to File Explorer, select the E drive. I right click and the properties now show that I have the full capacity of the drive because I have made it into one single partition. So in summary, you take the drive that came out of the NAS and you won't find it. So in my study, all I could find was to get a Windows formatted drive. You stick it in the source, you stick your NAS drive in the destination slot, you run the clone function on this, it clones this drive to this drive, including the contents. So I cleaned this drive out so it didn't take as long. When done, I now, I, I now switch my switch back to PC. I take this drive, save it for later, take this drive, stick it in slot one, go in, and this is now a fully functional drive in Windows. If it's this is smaller than this, then you just have to um, take the two partitions and make it into one. I hope this helps you. I know I couldn't find the answer and felt the need to publish this video and give you directions on how to take the drives that you pulled out of your NAS device because typically they're smaller than you need because you're upgrading the capacity of your NAS drive. And now I have a hard drive that is fully functional and fully available for, for Windows at the very modest cost of this docking station, which I needed anyway, and the cloning device. I thank you for your time.